Welcome to Video Podcast 2, The Silhouette Sign. I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia. In the first video podcast, we discussed the five basic radiographic densities, metal, bone or calcium, soft tissue or fluid, fat, and air. And the graphic on the left demonstrates more or less what these radiographic densities would appear like on a conventional radiograph. In this video podcast, we're going to discuss briefly one of the most important signs in all of radiology, the silhouette sign. The silhouette sign says that when two objects of the same radiographic density touch each other, then the border between them disappears. So there are two conditions that have to be met for the silhouette sign. One is that the two objects have to be of the same radiographic density, fluid and fluid, fat and fat, bone and bone, and then they have to be physically adjacent to each other for the edge between them to disappear. And we can demonstrate this by these two colored circles, which we can make believe represent the same radiographic density. The reason that we see the edge between them is because there is a black color as a background between the two orange circles. But if the two radiographic densities touch, then the edge between them disappears, and this is an example of the silhouette sign. We use this every day in practice. The reason that we can see the heart inside of the chest is because the heart is fluid or soft tissue density, and the lungs on either side of it contain air. So they're two different radiographic densities. But if there is something that replaces the air in the lung, that is the same density as the heart, then the edge between them will disappear. And this is such a case in which the individual has atelectasis of the entire left lung, which makes the left lung airless, and the same density as the heart, and therefore the interface between the left heart border and the left lung disappears, an example of the silhouette sign. Here's an example of the silhouette sign in a different individual. Here in the left lower lobe, which is normal, we can see the left hemidiaphragm because there is air both on top of it and in this case in the colon beneath it. If we look at the right side, we no longer can see the hemidiaphragm. The hemidiaphragm is invisible, rendered so by something in the right lower lobe, which is now the same density as the hemidiaphragm and the liver below it. In this case, there's atelectasis of the right lower lobe, which is rendering the right lower lobe airless and the same density as the right hemidiaphragm, making it the interface between the right hemidiaphragm and the lung disappear. Here's an, another example. In this case, there is opacification of the entire right hemithorax and we no longer can see any of the structures on the right side of the heart, the ascending aorta, or the right atrium, because they are being silhouetted out by the lack of air in the right hemithorax. In this case, the patient has had a pneumonectomy and the right hemithorax has been filled with fluid and fibrous tissue. So here's a mini quiz that uses the silhouette sign. You can pause your computer or iPod. So this patient has a pneumonia. The question is, where is the pneumonia? And if you look carefully, you could see that there is an area of airspace density on the left side. And if you look more carefully, you can no longer see the interface between the left heart border and the lung, which means that this pneumonia has to be touching the left heart border since the heart is anterior. This pneumonia has to be anterior in the lung. If we look at the lateral view of this individual, we can see that in fact that this pneumonia in the left lung is anterior to the major fissure. It's in the lingular segments of the left upper lobe and that's why it, the pneumonia, silhouettes the left heart border because it's the same density as the heart and it physically touches the heart.
this is a lingular pneumonia. So to recap, when two objects of the same radiographic density touch each other, the border between them disappears. That is the silhouette sign.